I believe Tim Zoo coast to a fairly easy victory versus Keith Thurman if he just sticks to the game plan. What up, YouTube? Bit to your heavy bad boxing TV, man. If you don't get your big goof ass in here and hit the bag, hit that like button for your boy. You know that. I appreciate that love. Shout out to gang. My bag hitters. Y'all know the count. Big shout out to Tyree Celestine, Sean and Don, of course, D1's Boxing, Troy Jack, my Aussie fam, Mark Wynn, uh, and of course, newest member of the heavy bag family. Out of the BX, man, the Boogie Down Bronx. Shout out my guy, John, my boy, the equal stand up. Now. I've been hearing it from everybody. T.O., you got to give Keith Thurman more of a shot than what you've given him. It's Keith Thurman. And I keep telling y'all, listen, I was there in Keith Thurman's heyday. I remember when I personally felt like Keith Thurman might have been the baddest welterweight on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, when he was unified champ, I gave him his flowers. Uh, I picked him to beat Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I've most definitely given Keith Thurman his flowers when it was his time. But let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it all the way real. His time has passed. And I got to go with the younger champion and the Tim Zoo in this fight. And I truly believe if Tim Zoo just sticks to the game plan, and it's the game plan that's universal, that everybody knows about Keith Thurman right now. Colazzo exposed it. Luis Colazzo exposed it. Manny Pacquiao exposed it. Even a Mario Barrios exposed it. Keith Thurman it's soft to the body. Let's keep it all the way a buck. Shit is out there. And if Tim Zoo has any other game plan other than to come into this fight and continuously work that kitchen, focus on downstairs and getting him beat up to the body by the fifth round if he's still there, he should be ready to go. He should be ready to go. And if Keith Thurman can somehow, some way manipulate Tim Zoo from straying away from that game plan. And of course, Tim's got to take his shots upstairs and load up upstairs when those spots uh, become available and, and, and reveal themselves. You got to take those shots upstairs because he could most definitely hit him on the button and get him out of there too. But if he can somehow manipulate you and to stand away from the body and not continuously throwing those heavy shots downstairs, then more than likely you deserve to go through all the adversity that Keith Thurman, a 35 year old Keith Thurman with some footwork could potentially put you through. You would deserve it. If he, even if he won, Tim Zoo would deserve it because again, everybody knows what he needs to be targeted in this fight. He should be going to the kitchen early and often. Um, and that should be the, the main focal point. That should be the main game plan is beating up the body beating up that kitchen of uh, uh, Keith Thurman in this fight. And again, and if, if Keith can somehow use his IQ and deter uh, um, the focal point of a Tim Zoo, then he deserves whatever repercussions that may lead to. Um, I had to do this video because, again, I like Keith Thurman. I, again, I picked Keith Thurman to beat Pacquiao. I picked, picked Keith Thurman to beat all of those guys when he was unified champion. But now we are talking about the receding headline, no more braids, 35-year-old Keith Thurman, who's only fought once in almost four and a half years, who's now coming off another two and a half year layoff. Who who do you, who you think you're supposed to pick? Keith Thurman, in my opinion, is a long shot compared to this extremely active, uh, extremely violent Tim Zhu. This dude's a dog, bro. Now I man, let me let me let me let me reel that in. I don't think Zoo's gotten into the upper echelon of the division or competition where you can really call him a straight dog because you haven't seen him dig all the way deep yet. Um, but I don't think Keith Thurman poses that problem. If anything, it's just going to be a problem with trying to cut off the ring of Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? But in a straight war and where Tim has to pull out the dog, I don't think this is the fight. I think that fight comes later against somebody else who's probably a little bit more heavy handed than Keith Thurman and probably a little younger uh, or shorter in the tooth. Um, but she, it's, it's a no brainer for me at the end of the day. Now, I know y'all going to kill me, especially all the people who still think Keith Thurman's the guy. 
I, and, and y'all out there, y'all continuously letting, you know, your presence be felt. Y'all continuously saying Keith Thurman is going to win this fight or he has a hell of a chance in this fight. And I'm not mad at you because, again, you still hanging on to that Keith Thurman from fucking seven, eight years ago. That day is gone, bro. You know what I'm saying? One time is gone. He need to change his damn name because he ain't got a knockout since when? When was it the last time this niggas even got a knockout? Maybe 2015, 2016, maybe. So you going on a decade without even getting a damn knockout. You know what I'm saying? So one time that shit is dead. Um, and this bull, uh, Tim Zhu, a young bull. He a young bull, bro. He not finna come in there playing with Keith Thurman. And if Keith Thurman, that tank about to be, at 35 years old, that tank about to be right. Because if that tank ain't, <laughs> if that tank ain't right, come the seventh, eighth round, whoo. And you already know if you follow me on the lives, I'm going to show you my best. <laughs> I'm going to show you my best. All right, that's all I got for y'all on this one. Big Teal Heavy Bag. You know who I got with me, man. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.